வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வீடியோ ஆன் பை மெக்கானிக்ஸ் வி ஹவ் பின் லுக்கிங் அட் இன்ட்ரோடக்டரி மெக்கானிக்ஸ் வித் அன் இன்ட்ரோடக்ஷன் டு ஸ்டாட்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் டைனாமிக்ஸ் வி வர் லுக்கிங் அட் சம் சிம்பிள் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன் மெக்கானிக்ஸ் வி சா ஒன் ப்ராப்ளம் இன் த ப்ரீவியஸ் கிளாஸ் இன் திஸ் கிளாஸ் வில் சா சி ஒன் மோர் ப்ராப்ளம் ஹேர் இஸ் அ ப்ராப்ளம் இன் ஸ்டாட்டிக்ஸ் த கொஸ்டின் இஸ் ட்ரா த ஃப்ரீ பாய் டயக்ராம் அண்ட் கேல்குலேட் தி அன்னோன் ரியாக்ஷன் ஃபோர்ஸஸ் and moments wherever applicable in the following situation okay this is the situation there is a force that is applied here which i don't know and there is a known 5 newton force that is applied at an inclination of 60 degrees to the horizontal in this way and there is a 7 newton force that is applied perpendicular to the perpendicular to the bar and these are all separated by 0.5 meters how many unknowns will be there in this case and uh, it turns out that there is a there is a there is a connection there is a joint there is a hinge sort of thing here there is a pin sort of thing that is there so there will be reactions here how many reactions will be there because this bar can rotate like this it's like this i'm holding it's like my left hand like this i'm holding like that and i'm applying a force so it can rotate like that that means its moment will not be there but it is preventing movement in uh, or acceleration in this direction or in that direction right that is being prevented that means that there will be two reactions also in addition there will be one more force unknown force so there are two reaction forces rx and ry that will be there and one unknown force that will be there okay so let's draw the free body diagram these are the distances there will be an rx and there will be an ry okay i'm going to call this point as o and at that end point a that point i'm going to call as a there is an unknown force that is acting which i don't know and at point b here there is a force of of 5 newton acting at 60 degrees to the horizontal as shown and at point c there which is at that other end there is a 7 newton force that is acting okay now i can try to write out the equations of static equilibrium for this case let's write let's assume that x y axis and i can write sigma fx equal to 0 because this object does not accelerate in the x direction the sum of all the forces in that x direction will be 0 what are the forces in the x direction will f be in the x direction the answer is no because it is obviously in the negative y direction for the direction shown okay and 7 newton in, is in the negative y direction will rx be in x direction yes because that is rx that is a reaction force in x direction so that is rx and that is in the positive x direction ry obviously is ry it will not have an x component will 5 newton have an x component the answer is yes 5 newton has an x component and will it be positive the answer is yes because i have to resolve this right this force if i resolve that will be like this and you know like this is it not if i resolve it will have a negative y component and a positive x component so i will write this as rx minus 5 times cos 60 is it not this angle is 60 degrees is it not 
So, this distance then is cosine of 60 cos 60 times 5. But uh, will it be negative? No, right? It will be positive because this is in the positive x direction, right? It will be rx plus 5 times cos 60 is 0. Anything else I have missed? Answer is no, okay? So, this is 0. This will straight away give me rx to be minus 2.5 newtons. What does this mean minus 2.5 newtons? That means, this force is going in the opposite direction, is it? Yes. It is not that this force is being applied here like in this direction with positive magnitude, but rather with positive magnitude at this point there is a pull that is happening towards a negative x direction in this direction for the same magnitude. Okay. So, R x is minus 2.5 Newtons for that positive x axis, is it not? Now, I can write the next equation of static equilibrium as sigma f y equal to 0 because this object does not accelerate in the y direction. The sum of all the forces in the y direction will be 0. What are the forces in the y direction? That would be minus f. Why minus f? Because f is in the negative y direction because this is positive. This is positive y f is in the negative y direction. So, minus f plus r y, why r y is in the positive direction because it is given. I have assumed r y to be in the positive y direction. You always assume the unknowns to be in the positive direction. Okay. Anything else? Minus 7 Newtons, okay. minus 7 because that is acting at C. Anything else? because this 5 Newton will have a negative y component right that is minus 5 times sin 60 is that not we saw that that will be minus sin 60 times 5 right. The whole thing is 0 hmm. this problem does not seem like so simple. Why? Because there are two unknowns and only one equation. How do we solve this? Okay, let us first write out this equation. Let us write out this equation properly. That is uh, R y minus f is 7 plus 5 sin 60. I can actually compute 5 sin 60 using the scientific calculator and uh, sum it. So, I can find this as R y minus f is some 11.3 Newtons. Are we done? The answer is no because I have to find the R y and f. I do not know how to find it because I have found the previous equation is in R x. That is not very helpful for me because there is no R x term in this. So, that means that I have to write out the third equation of equilibrium which is sigma m about o is 0. This whole thing can rotate and I am taking moment about this point o right that is that is counter clockwise considered positive if I consider then that would be this f will be causing a moment f times 0 0.5 in the counter clockwise direction that would be f into 0 0.5 ok. This minus 5 sin 60 this vertical component will be causing a moment in the clockwise direction with uh, what uh, momentum with a momentum of 0 0.5 is it not. So, and that will be in the clockwise direction. So, that will be minus 0 0.5 times 5 sin 60. Okay. 
and this 7 Newton will be causing a moment in the clockwise direction with a momentum of 1 meter and that will be a clockwise moment. So, that will be minus 7 times 1 anything else that any other force the 5 Newton force in the x direction and R x will not cause a moment. Okay. So, I am writing this as 0. Now, it seems to me like this equation has only one variable is it not which is f I can simply solve for f using this how f is 7 plus 5 sin 60 times 0 0.5 the whole thing divided by 0 0.5 is it not you can compute this using a calculator and you realize f is ac actually 18.33 newtons. Now, substitute this f in this equation which is r y minus 18.33 is 11.33. So, r y is 11.33 plus 18.33 that would be 29.66 newtons this is our way. What is the question? Calculate all the unknown reaction forces right or all the unknown forces reaction forces all the unknown forces in this case we have found that as R x is 2 point minus 2.5 Newtons R y is 29.66 Newtons and F is 18.33 Newtons. The question is why did I choose to find moment about O, why not any other point right. Because if you choose to find moment about any other point, it turns out that R y will also cause a moment, R x may also cause a moment if you are taking it about the width of the bar. In this case, let us assume that the width is 0, other unknown forces may also cause a moment then it will become two equations in two variables it will be a slightly more tedious right. So, for the sake of convenience if I choose a point at which these two reaction forces have 0 momentum then what happens all these two uh, moments disappear and I have one equation in one variable which I can quickly solve and get the value of f which I can then plug in into the previous equation and find the value of r y. So, it is a matter of convenience. So, how do you know before you solve the problem where to choose your point? How do you know? You actually do not know when you start, but after you observe you realize or after you write out the free body diagram you realize if you choose a point at which there are many unknowns acting, it is convenient to choose that point to take the moment about you can technically take the moment about any point, but it is convenient to choose a point at which many unknown forces are acting. Of course, this is only a rule of thumb this insight on where to choose this point about which you take the moment will come only when you solve a lot of problems. This is a simple problem practice many more problems and you will get that insight as to where do you choose. Okay. So, with this we come to the end of this video. Thank you very much for your attention.